Welcome back. We continue our examination of the parables of Matthew 13, where Jesus begins with the kingdom of heaven is like. Today we look at the parable of the costly pearl, known by most people because of the King James Version, as the pearl of great price. The parable reads, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls, and upon finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Matthew 13, 45 and 46. Like the parable of the hidden treasures representing the hidden value of the follower of Christ, the great pearl represents the body of Christ, the church. While we as individuals accept Christ, it is as part of his body that we truly shine. Together we move forward in the earth carrying the message of the life, death, and resurrection of the Master. For this body of believers, Jesus gave everything in order to have it. As the parable says, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. The treasury of heaven was emptied in order to redeem fallen human beings. That purchase price was the shed blood of Jesus. In Revelation 5, when Jesus enters the throne room in heaven to take his position at the right hand of the Father, the beings in heaven praise him for shedding his blood to redeem those from every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. They praise, the, the praise for Jesus swells from the living creatures, the 24 elders, and the heavenly host to also include the whole cosmos. We are Jesus' pearl of great price, and the heavens sing about it. Don't shortchange yourself. Go into the world today, armed with the Holy Spirit in your life, knowing you are not alone, but part of a larger body, the army of God. He also holds you in great value. So let your life preach the gospel to a dark world that needs to hear the word of life. Be a blessing to others. Have a wonderful day.